Okay, Scorpios, I hope you're doing well. So this is for you if you have Scorpio as your sun, moon, Venus, rising, and north node. Okay, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for all that, that have subscribed to my channel already. Oh, straight up. So I'll be using my own cards today, uh, Scorpios. So let's see what comes up for you. One card's already come out, so you can't see that. So narcissistic traits, control issues, self-sabotage, toxic behaviours come out. Okay, guys. So this may be um, you or somebody that you're dealing with. But I'm going to get five more cards from this deck. Thank you. Okay. And then... <laughs> Two more from this deck and then I'll put I'll start putting the story together, okay guys. In the meantime, please subscribe, like, alright? I appreciate you guys. One more. Wait, hold on, they've just turned over. One more card. One more for Scorpio, please. <sighs> okay. All right, Scorpio, we have narcissistic traits, control issues, self-sabotage, toxic behavior, okay? So that's equivalent to a devil card. So this could be you, Scorpio, it could be somebody that you're dealing with, all right? Can we work on this has come out, okay? I'm still interested in you. Take back your control, keep your faith and pray has come out. This isn't fun anymore. I can't forgive myself for what I've put you through. Now, Scorpio, this could literally be you or your person. I do get cross watchers energy sometimes. I do pick up on their energy. So if it's not how you're feeling, if you if you know that you're working on yourself and you're doing that inner work, you know it's not you. You know it's your person, right? So let me put this over here because some of these decks look similar. I don't want to get confused. So I am getting a bit of a confusing time in your life right now. It's like you want to work on something, but because there's toxic behaviour, someone's being controlling. Someone's definitely being controlling and, um, you know, that's not that's not fun for every, any, well, for the person you're trying to control, that could be fun for them, but on, for the other person, it's not fun anymore okay um whoever's got these toxic traits yeah they are feeling like i can't they can't forgive themselves for the things that they've put you through okay so i feel like okay so i feel like that's for you scorpio to take a step back and say do you know what this situation's got out of control okay and if you feel like you can't work on it, if you feel like, yes, there's love there, there's there's all these memories, all this, whatever, all this stuff, emotion, you know, in this connection, yeah, okay. But if it's causing you to have some kind of, if it's making you unsettled, unbalanced, guys, definitely take a step back and get, pour into yourself. Give yourself love, give yourself time, ground yourself, yeah? Like, literally just, you, you need to tell this person, I need a break. Like, I, I can't, like, it's not fair. It, that's really not fair it, uh, for you to continue in that kind. It's, it seems very toxic, if I'm honest. Very toxic. Um, and I am getting that it's affecting some of you guys' mental health. Okay, so here's three guys for you. I'll put this there, I don't want to mix them up. I hold you in high regard, you're something else. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with one of those signs or you can have that in your birth chart, okay? It could be Aries, Moon, Leo, Moon, Sagittarius, Moon, or Rising, whatever, okay? Let's do things together as a couple. Why am I getting Romeo and Juliet? vibes why am i getting romeo and juliet vibes
and that was toxic as as that was toxic guys for any of you that, have, that actually know the story woo, toxic like i understand it was different times and stuff like that but jesus man did they have to go that far like you know all in the name of love and scorpios you guys love hard when you find your person you love hard you give it your all to the point where it can really have an effect on your mental health because it's like especially when that person is acting up or disrespecting you scorpio or you know giving so like you've given everything to them and they're like here they're everywhere given to like all to all everyone that's gonna affect you you know that would affect anybody but i know scorpius when you find your person it's like you find it hard like you could be with somebody else scorpio like you could have been say this person that you're thinking about right now you know how i'm talking about scorpio okay I'm, i can feel that energy you know how i'm talking about right so this person that you felt this way about you could have this could be a past person and you can be with someone brand new but you still think about this person you can be in a relationship you could have got in a whole new relationship you could have been with this new person well newish person for five years ten years but that person that you were so strongly had that connection for and you could be with them could have, you could have been with them for like two years three years or six months but that connection how you felt for them it's like you still think about them you still think about them you still you still keep tabs on them scorpio tell me i'm lying tell me i'm lying scorpio i wish you would you still keep tabs on this person you could have been in a you could be in a brand new relationship you could have had two more kids bought a house together traveled and you still think about this person how did they get away how that's how strongly you feel scorpio you guys like i mm, do you know what i know people say cancers are quite intense but scorpios Scorpios, man, it's like you guys are like the real ride or that, like real Bonnie and Clyde kind of, you know. That's you guys. That is you guys, Scorpio. Can't tell me nothing. All right, Scorpio. Two more cards for you from this deck. Scorpio, please. Thank you. Exactly two. All right, guys, if you're on your phone too much and feel bored, uninspired, yeah, like, oh, this is just, and you're just like, yeah, put your phone down and continue that project, okay? You know what I'm talking about, yeah? Organise your space, call your friend back, okay? Go outside, do something, exercise, yeah? If you feel, we've all done it, be on my phone, like, oh, there's nothing to do, oh, it's bored, like, because we're not supposed to be doing that there's something else that needs our attention okay guys so if you're feeling like oh it's like I, I remember literally i created that deck doing that i created one of these i can't remember which one it was but um i remember one day i was on, I th actually you know it was this deck it was this deck when i'm i just read from one day i was on my phone guys and i was scrolling and i was so bored i like so bored and I, something was like, put your phone down. I flung my phone on my bed so it didn't break. Flung my phone down. Actually, I turned it off. I turned it off. And I had I had these cards here, guys. I had these cards. I had, like, blank cards. I still got another deck there. But I don't do... I never, I never create decks when I'm like, oh, what should I write? It normally flows to me, okay, guys? That When you're feeling bored like that, put your phone down. Turn the TV off yeah and continue with your project okay it will make you feel tons better i promise you i created this deck within was it this one i created this deck within half hour and i didn't think about one i was it was just flowing to me flowing to me flowing to me okay 
and it was when I was on my phone and I was bored and I was like, no, nah, there's nothing there for me. Okay, so it's a tight, it's like basically it's like stop looking outside and go within. Okay, and when I went within, I was, I was able to create this and I'm using it for you guys today. Okay, so please, whatever you have got, got whatever you've put aside for a moment because you've say, like you've got write, write, writer's block or you have you have the rest of the materials for this project but you just haven't felt inspired do it now guys okay all right so we'll move on have so much love for yourself that you see people who want to leave your life as a blessing okay prevention is god god's protection all right guys so that person that you're thinking of they're out of your life for a reason okay they are out of your life for a reason right and you know it as well, you know, especially the way you felt in that relationship, in that connection. You, you know that it's for the best. But there's something, there's something that you're just like, your, um, your stingers have come out, Scorpio. Your opinion matters regardless of how you or others have once perceived it, okay? So um, this person might have put you down ah that's what it is this person treated you like shit scorpio it might have been in the time of your life where you was not healed when you did not understand when you wasn't on your path yet when you wasn't on your spiritual path when or you might have just started and you thought oh this is my person blah, blah. and then this person treated you like shit and you're angered because this person treated you like that and you allowed it. You were angered. Let go of it, Scorpio. Let go of it. I promise you. Forgive them. Forgive yourself, okay? Best thing to do. That's what it is. That's why you hold on because you're like, I can't believe that person treated me. Let go. Let go. Let go. For yourself. Not, not for them, for yourself, Scorpio, okay? All right. Three more cards, please. For Scorpio. Three cards for Scorpios, please. Scorpio. Three. Right there. All right, guys. So I have, you will be fine. Okay? Whatever you're worried about, you'll be fine. Okay. And I have no. So if there's something that you were thinking of before you come to this reading or you've been thinking of, thinking of the last few weeks, say like you've got to contact this person, say you've been trying to get this person back or, or do something that you know might not go in your favour, do not do it. No has come out. You probably can't see it. It's really annoying, but don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Always honour your words. So if you've said, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. Yes, I'm going to continue this project. Stay true to yourself, okay? Don't worry about what you're promising other people. Stay true to yourself. If you say to yourself, I am going to do X, Y, Z, do it for yourself. Complete it for yourself. You feel good. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment, let me know if it resonates. And I am doing private readings. All the information's in the description box below, guys. Have an amazing week and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.